M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So look here, we're on my all-star node, 434550, and we've got a rubber duck in the back. We're just going to test how it affects the SWR. So I will lower the power, so we'll go quick setup, quick setup, power, we'll put it about 10%, okay? Let's just back out. And then we've got it on just an audio test at the moment. My node is in the house, so it will make it easy. So let's look at the SWR meter. So hold it down. There you go. We do actually have a graph. We'll test that as well. But look here, SWR at the bottom. M0FXB test. No, we're on the wrong shift. So we need to turn off the shift. That's fine. Duplex off. 434550. We do need a tone. We got that of 77. Yep. Back out. Let's get the meter back on. SWR, FM, M0 FXP test. There you go. We've got... Sounding good. Right. And the SWR is low. Let's try the SWR meter. There you go. And then we'll push. Do we just key or do we have to push play? I don't worry when I'm keying, it's not affecting anyone. Right, see the play? A little play and you can change the steps here as well. Let's just push the, probably after we push play or before. But let's just push it. So look, really good SWR. Play back. There you are. Let me just show you my antenna. So. You, this is why I'm making the video to show you that you can sort of you can use uh, a rubber duck two meter seventy antenna uh, if you need to. So of course I've got my HF here and I could put it on my tuner if I want to, and then power supply. This is your tuner connector. But look down here we just got a BNC to PL two five nine SO two three nine is it, and then just an adapter for my very cheap Bofung antenna. Now, of course, you're not going to get much range on this because I do a lot of operation with items that are transmitting to me inside my house, uh, like my all-star node. It could be a DV switch. It might even be, a, if, I, if I was using, no, it's got to be an analog system. So it's more than likely going to be uh, my, my all-star node. But there are several connections. I'll show you my all-star dashboard. This is my all-star dashboard. Watch this. It's like micro hub control panel by Hubnet. G7RPG makes these. So you get a box, like a white box with um, all the gubbins in it. And, and watch this. If I click Hubnet. G16 mobile. Let's see. That's my Hubnet node. So that station calling through. If I want, I can have a chat with him. G6 station, M0 FXB returning. That lovely strong signal. Look at that nice little graph. Click hold so it looks pretty. So that's poor. Let's reply. Yeah, hi Paul. My name is Andreas. I'm located in Western Supermare, and I'm coming in via an All Star node and my Icom Seven Thousand. Back over to you. Okay, Andreas. Very um, good afternoon to you. Do you want to queue as wide as WR, perhaps, to free this for someone else? A bit of a cold. Uh, I can't at the moment because I'm just on a rubber duck and I'd be very weak into WR. I've got the my node here connected to Hubnet. Hubnet is very good for chats. They like a good rag chew. So it's it's only if anything it will be WR that someone might jump in and say you're hogging the channel. But on Hubnet people just like to listen. Back to you. Okay, I don't think anybody on there. 
So uh, I won't worry about that. But that's fair enough. So it's okay. We'll just match that here. So very nice to meet you. Sammy in Bridgewater. I've just done parked up in the school lot. Waiting for my young boy to get out of school. And I'll be heading back home, which is Sutton Mallet. Sutton Mallet, not Shepton Mallet. Which is about, I don't know, five or six miles away. Across the other side of town. Anyway, we'll pass it back with a break for REC to call in. Uh, G6, D, Mobile on the group. Oh, you lost it there. Uh, break station, you uh, you lost it then. I will try one more time. I don't often talk on Monday. I'm missing all the time. Um, yeah, I blessed think he was. Um, did you say your location was uh, west of Supermare? And I just wondered, did, I, did you receive that icon 7000 this morning over? Good afternoon, and well, I'm doing a video on the ICOM 7000. Um, is that what you mean? I, uh, I'm using it right now, and I've had it for about a month. Back to you. I do apologise. Um, yeah, I, I sold the ICOM uh, 7000, which arrived at its destination in Western Superman this morning. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Well, no, I've had it... Maybe maybe three weeks. I absolutely love it. This one came in pristine, immaculate new condition. And so I'm very lucky. Uh, not a cheap radio to buy used, but it does do everything. So back, I better put it round to Paul. Round to you, Paul. Right, there you go. Thanks for watching. 7-3.